Welcome back, coin enthusiasts. Today, we're diving into the world of numismatics to explore the top six most valuable U.S. coins. Specifically, we'll be focusing on two iconic denominations, the Monticello Jefferson Nickel and the Roosevelt Dime. Let's get started first up. Explore the enigmatic tale of the 1989 P. Roosevelt Dime in uncirculated condition. Join me as we unravel its story and unveil its current market value in dollars. Before we delve into the present-day value, let's journey back to 1989, the year when this tiny but significant coin was minted, bearing the iconic profile of President Franklin D. Roosevelt. 1989 marked the end of an era, a decade filled with innovation, cultural shifts, and historic moments. And amidst it all, the Philadelphia Mint quietly produced a limited number of Roosevelt dimes, distinguished by the P. Mint mark. Now, let's talk rarity. The 1989 P. Roosevelt dime holds a special place in the hearts of collectors due to its limited mintage and elusive nature in uncirculated condition. Its scarcity adds to its allure and intrigue among numismatists worldwide. But what about its value today? That's the burning question on every collector's mind after scouring various reputable sources and consulting experts in the field. I can reveal that the current market value of a 1989p Roosevelt dime in uncirculated condition ranges from $200,100, but depending on factors such as mint state, luster, and overall appeal. However, it's essential to remember that the value of numismatic treasures like this dime can fluctuate over time, influenced by market demand, economic factors, and the rarity of specific coin varieties. So whether you're a seasoned collector or a newcomer to the world of coin collecting, the 1989p Roosevelt dime serves as a timeless reminder of history, craftsmanship, and the enduring allure of numismatics. Next up, explore the intriguing history and current market value of the 1953 Monticello Jefferson Nickel, specifically the one without a mint mark, in fine condition. So grab your magnifying glass and let's embark on this numismatic journey together. Let's talk about the significance of the 1953 Monticello Jefferson Nickel. This coin holds a special place in American numismatic history as it represents a pivotal era in coinage design. Designed by Felix Schlag, the obverse of the coin features a portrait of the third president of the United States, Thomas Jefferson, while the reverse showcases his iconic Monticello estate. Now, let's zoom in on the 1953 edition of this iconic coin. The absence of a mint mark indicates that it was minted in Philadelphia, as opposed to Denver or San Francisco. Despite being relatively common in circulation during its time, finding one in fine condition today is a challenge, making it a sought-after piece among collectors. When we talk about coins being in fine condition we're referring to a grading scale used by numismatists to assess the overall state of a coin. A coin in fine condition typically shows moderate wear but still retains most of its original details. This means that while the coin may exhibit some signs of circulation, such as light scratches or smoothing on the surfaces, the main design elements remain intact and distinguishable. Let's get to the question that's on everyone's mind what is the current market value of the 1953 Monticello Jefferson Nickel without a mint mark in fine condition? Well, as with any collectible item, the value can fluctuate based on a variety of factors such as demand, condition, and rarity. As of the latest market trends, a 1953 Monticello Jefferson nickel without a mint mark in fine condition can fetch anywhere from $4,000 in today's market. However, it's important to note that this value is just an estimate and can vary based on individual transactions and the specific characteristics of the coin in question. In conclusion, the 1953 Monticello Jefferson nickel without a mint mark is a piece of American history that continues to captivate collectors and enthusiasts alike. Its timeless design, coupled with its historical significance, makes it a prized addition to any coin collection. So, if you happen to stumble upon one of these coins in your pocket change or hidden away in Grandma's attic, be sure to give it a closer look you never know what treasures you might find. Next up we delve into the realm of numismatic treasures with a closer look at the 1996 D. Roosevelt dime. In uncirculated condition we're exploring the allure and market value of this iconic dime. Minted in 1996 at the Denver Mint, this dime bears the profile of President Franklin D. Roosevelt, a symbol of American resilience and strength. With its uncirculated state, this dime represents the pinnacle of numismatic preservation. Uncirculated coins are prized for their untouched surfaces, sharp details, and lustrous shine, making them highly sought after by collectors. But what sets the 1996 D. Roosevelt dime apart from its counterparts? 
Beyond its historical significance, this particular coin boasts rarity and scarcity in the market. With a mintage of only 1.457 billion, it's relatively scarce compared to other years. In today's coin market, the value of the 1996 D. Roosevelt dime in uncirculated condition has seen steady appreciation. Factors such as demand, rarity, and overall condition influence its market value. The 1996 D. Roosevelt dime, especially in uncirculated condition, commands attention from collectors and investors alike. Its limited mintage and historical significance contribute to its value, making it a prized addition to any collection. So, what is the current market value of the 1996 D. Roosevelt dime in uncirculated condition? As of today, it typically ranges from $300,000 depending on factors such as grade, eye appeal, and market demand. Whether you're a seasoned collector or a novice enthusiast, the 1996 D. Roosevelt dime in uncirculated condition represents a timeless treasure, bridging the past with the present in the world of numismatics. Next up, the Monticello Jefferson nickel from 1991 with a D mint mark. But wait, there's a twist. This particular coin is not in mint condition. It has some damage, but does that affect its market value? Let's find out. First, let's take a closer look at this beauty. The Monticello Jefferson nickel, featuring the iconic Monticello building on the reverse, is a beloved piece of American numismatic history. Minted in 1991 at the Denver Mint, this coin has seen some wear and tear over the years. As you can see, there are some noticeable scratches and dings on the surface. Despite its less than perfect condition, this coin still holds value in the collector's market. However, it's essential to understand that the extent of the damage will significantly impact its worth. Minor scratches and wear may only slightly affect the value, while more severe damage, such as deep gouges or bends, can decrease it significantly. Market value of a Monticello Jefferson nickel from 1991 with a D-mint mark in damaged condition can vary widely depending on factors such as the extent of the damage, current demand, and overall rarity. Generally speaking, you can expect to see these coins sell for anywhere from $200. To get a better idea of the current market value, it's always a good idea to consult reputable coin pricing guides or even consider reaching out to a professional coin appraiser. They can provide you with a more accurate assessment based on the specific condition of your coin. In conclusion, while a Monticello Jefferson nickel from 1991 with a D-mint mark in damaged condition may not fetch as high a price as a mint condition specimen, it still holds value for collectors and enthusiasts alike. So, if you come across one of these coins in your collection or while coin hunting, don't dismiss it just because of a few scratches. It's all part of the rich history and story behind each coin. Next up, the 1990 Monticello Jefferson nickel with a D-mint mark. Now, you might be wondering, what's so special about this coin, especially in its current dirty condition? Let's find out. First off, let's talk about the significance of the 1990 Monticello Jefferson nickel. Designed by Felix Schlag in 1938, the Jefferson nickel has become an iconic symbol of American numismatics. However, what sets the 1990 edition apart is its mint mark the D indicating that it was minted in Denver, Colorado. Now, let's address the elephant in the room the dirty conditions of the coin. While some collectors may prefer pristine, uncirculated coins, others find beauty in the imperfections and history behind coins that have been in circulation. This particular 1990 Monticello Jefferson nickel has undoubtedly seen its fair share of transactions, adding to its allure and mystique. What about its market value today? Despite its less than perfect condition, the 1990 Monticello Jefferson nickel with a D mint mark still holds value among collectors. While its monetary worth may not be as high as a mint condition coin, its historical significance and rarity make it a desirable addition to any collection. In terms of market value, a 1990 Monticello Jefferson nickel with a D mint mark in dirty conditions can fetch anywhere from $500,000 in the current market depending on its specific condition and demand from collectors. So, whether you're a seasoned numismatist or just starting your coin collecting journey, don't overlook the beauty and value that can be found in coins like the 1990 Monticello Jefferson nickel with a D-mint mark, even in less than perfect conditions. After all, every coin tells a story and this one is no exception. Next up, the Monticello Jefferson nickel, specifically focusing on the 1977 edition with a D-mint mark in extra fine condition. Many of you have asked about its market value in today's dollars, so let's uncover this fascinating piece of numismatic history together. First, let's talk about the significance of the 1977 D. Jefferson nickel. 
Minted at the Denver Mint in 1977, this coin features Thomas Jefferson on the obverse and Monticello on the reverse, showcasing a piece of American heritage. The D mint mark indicates its origin, adding to its collectible appeal. Now, let's address the burning question what's its market value today? Well, like any collectible item, its value can fluctuate based on various factors such as condition, rarity, and demand. In extra fine condition, the 1977 D. Jefferson nickel can command a respectable price in the numismatic market. But how much, you ask? While prices can vary, you can expect to see this coin valued anywhere from $600,000 in today's market. Of course, factors like pristine condition or any unique characteristics can influence its value even further. It's important to note that numismatics isn't just about monetary value, it's about preserving history and appreciating the artistry and craftsmanship behind each coin. Whether you're a seasoned collector or just starting out, the 1977 D. Jefferson nickel is a piece worth adding to your collection. There you have it, folks. The 1977 D. Jefferson nickel in extra fine condition, a true gem in the world of numismatics. Remember, it's not just about the dollars and cents, it's about the story each coin tells. Thanks for joining me today, and until next time, happy collecting.